All right, we've got the Monstars Award. Remember we talked about defensive players, defensive excellence with the MVP award. This is an interesting one that as I sat down and thought more about, all right, how can we also work defense in in, in somewhat of a unique way? I came up with the most feared defensive player. So four guys here, and we've talked about two of them, Bama Edge, Will Anderson, Wisconsin linebacker, Nick Herbig. Also, Texas Tech edge Tyree Wilson, who had 14 tackles for loss, seven sacks, forced a fumble. And then Liberty edge Darrell Johnson, who, again, another guy you may not have heard of because I think part of it is because Liberty kind of flopped at the end of the season. Eight sacks, 22 and a half tackles for loss. That is by far the tops in the country by three full tackles. 49 total tackles for him on the season. He also had an interception. These four guys, when I look at their performance, when I look at them lining up across from my quarterback, they strike fear in me as as the offense, right? And I think this is something that is more of an NFL style award, right? You hear a lot Mm -hmm. of kind of the most feared players at the NFL level. At the college level, though, just because there are so many players, we wanted to highlight a few of them that really cause a lot of ruckus in the backfield. But I did mention that if you were a Will Anderson fan, you should not go anywhere. We're giving him our 2022 Monstars Award. And we talked about it earlier. He's going to be maybe even a top five draft pick. What has he meant to the Crimson Tide over the last couple of years, really starting in his sophomore year when he just came out of nowhere, had 21 sacks, really should have been a finalist for the Heisman. But he has helped that Bama defense be elite over the last couple of seasons. Right. And... The important thing here is, I mean, he's been sensational on a Bama defense that's had a little bit of an issue in certain areas yep. over the last couple of years, right? Especially on the back end, you know, <clears throat> having guys that can't quite keep coverage as well as they had in the past. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure they're getting that figured out. It's Bama. They'll figure out the talent gap. But, man, he's been able to get after the quarterback. He, I mean, Will Anderson like eats people. He's he's just terrifying. He's not the guy that I want to you know go up against if I'm an offensive lineman. Very few have had success blocking him the past couple of years, you know, and and actually keeping him away from the quarterback consistently. Um, and, and at the end of the day, he's just a dominating force. He, he's terrifying coming off the edge. He affects quarterbacks not even just by the way that he's playing. You know, maybe play to play, but just seeing him coming off the edge, it makes you feel like your clock gets rushed a little bit, makes you feel like you got to get the ball out a little bit quicker. It's going to rush your decision making and you're not going to be focusing on what the coverage does because you're thinking about getting away from the guy who's coming after you. And so, you know, I think Will Anderson, clear choice here. The other three guys are fantastic. I mean, Darrell Johnson, obviously, with just ridiculous numbers. And I'm really curious to see where he goes in the draft. Or I don't know if he's draft eligible this year, but where he ends up eventually going in the draft when it's his mm-hmm. time and, and to see what kind of a difference he can make. But, man, Will Anderson, he's that guy. If he's not a top five pick, I don't know. It, it'd have to be one of those you know, gas mask situations come out where <laughs> you know something completely irrelevant to his skill comes out because he's he's a surefire top five pick in that regard. No doubt about it. I yeah. I, I think he's gonna make. I think he's gonna make a, a lot of. Uh, or, well, one NFL team. He's gonna make a lot of draft scouts very very happy this year. He's gonna yeah. make one franchise very very happy come April. And several other franchises very upset. That's right. You do not want Will Anderson Jr. in your division. I promise you that. Gracious! Yep. How about that? 